Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. Today, I am batch filming. So, I'm going to be talking about um, Valentine's Day scents that are floral. So, if you're looking for a beautiful floral scent that you may want to pull out in this season of love, I have a few here for you. Hello and welcome to everyone. Y'all, my voice is acting up, so I'm speaking lower than I normally do. Please bear with me because the show must go on. Got to get these videos out for you guys. And I don't want to do them too late in the season because it's the season of love. It is Valentine's season. It's also Black History Month. So... I must say that even though I'm not bringing any uh, black history or black um, produced fragrances, it's still Black History Month. And I'm going to have to incorporate some black history stuff in my videos. But for this one, I don't have it. But I do have some beautiful floral scents for you guys. So, what do I want to start off with? I'm going to start off with Lancome Idol Nectar. Now, this is a rosy scent. In this scent, it has two or three roses in it. When I first got it, all I could smell was the sweet caramely scent. The sweetness. This does have a popcorn note in it. And I just would smell all of the sweetness with the rose in the background. Now, this has changed. I'm smelling a lot of the rose with the vanilla and a little bit of the caramel. It also has a popcorn note. But the rose is really coming out in this. And it's still beautiful. I'm just getting more rose. So, if you're a rose girl and you like floral scents and you want to smell good on Valentine's Day, you might want to pull out your Lancome Edal Nectar. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful floral and roses is very popular for Valentine's Day. So this would be perfect. So let's go with her. I want to talk about a hundred silent ways by nisha nay this is a beautiful tuberose peachy creamy vanilla scent this is a beautiful like i like i said creamy scent it is just blended so well there's nothing sharp in this fragrance it's just smooth it's like silk but it's so pretty. If you like tuberose and you like vanilla and you like sweetness and you like a little bit of peach, this is your perfect fragrance for the person that is looking for a floral scent to wear in this season of love. This is one of my prettiest florals. Nisha May, 100 Silent Ways. So I'm going to go with another peachy scent. This is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid by Victor and Ralph. This is your beautiful Flower Bomb. Still has the florals, but added to the florals, you get a little bit of greenness from the vine and a little bit of fruitiness from the peach. It's just as beautiful as the original flower bomb, but it's a bit fruitier and a bit fresher. Beautiful scent for the person that is looking for a nice floral fragrance and you want to get compliments. This is your girl. She gets compliments and it is beautiful. And it's a little bit of fresh with your floral, vanilla, 
peachy scent. So that's Ruby Orchid or Flower Bomb Ruby, Ruby Orchid by Victor and Ralph. Okay, here is another beautiful floral fragrance. This one comes across peachy, but there's no peach in here. The note in here is plum. We have plum and vanilla and some red currant. I'm trying to look for the flowers. We have some mimosa. And in the base, you have some santal, it seems like. So, which is sandalwood. And some tonka and vanilla. So, this is a beautiful floral scent. It is sweet. It is um, easy going. You get the fruitiness, which we all think is peach. But it is plump. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It smells... Um, it's an easy going fragrance but to me it smells different from your run of the mill floral scents I think this is a beautiful creamy floral if you want to smell like a floral scent that's slightly fruity with vanilla that makes it creamy try Casilli. I never said the name. This is Casilli by Perfumes de Marfi. It is a beautiful scent. It is delicious. That's how it comes across to me. It's a delicious, floral, pretty, creamy scent. So that's Casilli. Okay. So I'm going to go with another fruity, creamy, floral, more floral than anything to me. But it does have a bit of creaminess and it does have a bit of fruitiness. This is C. Fiore by Giorgio Armani. A lot of people like to say that it is a strawberry milkshake. That's not what it is to me because I smell the freshness in the air. I smell the green note that's going through this with the florals, it is nice and sweet, and you do get some berries, so it is a beautiful floral scent, in my opinion. This is a nice one to pull out during this season of love. Look at the color of the bottle. It makes you think pretty in pink, Valentine's Day, just beautiful, and it is a beautiful scent. So that is C. Fiore by Giorgio Armani. It has your red berries, your vanilla, and some florals. Love her. I should say like her because I love other ones in that line better than that one. So next I'm pulling out the Good Girl Blush. This is your beautiful pink stiletto. It has lots of florals you have some citrus you have some musk and vanilla this is beautiful if you want to smell easy going a bit fresh but you love your florals this is your girl because the musk is coming through the vanilla is coming through the flowers is coming through and um the slight sweetness and the citrus this is beautiful. If that all of those notes that I just named sounds good to you, you will love this. Yes. This is a really pretty floral scent for this time of season. Check out Your Good Girl Blush by Carolina Herrera. So... Why did I do that? Put her here. I was gonna say last but not last but not least, but I have bond number nine, Lolita. 
N O No Lita. This is a beautiful floral scent with some fruits and I think it has some vanilla. In this scent, you get the brightness from the floral and the citrus. Very pretty. And it projects. It has a good projection to me. I can't speak to the longevity. But what I've heard, it get, it does get good longevity. Actually, Bond number 9 fragrances are known for their longevity. So, if you have Nolita and you love florals and you want to smell pretty floral sophisticated on Valentine's Day or during the season, pull out your Nolita. It looked like I may have mixed some things up here on my dresser because I have things set out so that I can talk to you guys and try to get through these videos. And I don't know if I intended on putting it in my next Valentine's Day um, type of scent that you may want to wear. But it's going in this one. This is Dior Jador Do. Do. This is a beautiful floral scent. It has some white flowers and it has honeysuckle in it. I want to say that the whole makeup of this fragrance is all florals. Florals. Florals, not florence. Florals. And it has a sweetness to it, but it has to be coming from the honeysuckle because there's nothing else listed in this fragrance that has that type of sweetness besides the honeysuckle. This is a beautiful floral. It's a compliment getter. People want to know what you're wearing. And um, yeah, if you want to smell beautiful like flowers that's sweet, try out Jador Doe. So I'm going to end this for my my throat is getting dry now I want to start coughing but I want to end this for my floral scents and the next video depending on how they come up would be the person that wants to smell fresh and clean for this season okay so Thank you so much for watching. Watching, I appreciate you all. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to press the bell and share the video.